Hi YouTube, I'm Geert van Gehle and in this video I would like to compare two different handheld recorders from Tascam. They are from two different price categories, but both are quite affordable. Each Tascam I use in a specific situation, which I will explain. The DR series of Tascam carry a lot of features, are very reliable and offer great quality for their price. The DR05 and the DR40 both sport similar software, with which you can really do a lot. As I've mentioned in another video where I compare the DR05 with the Zoom H1, I specifically love the gain setting feature, which makes recording a live concert a breeze. If you want to find out more about this, follow the link in the description to check it out. I will start with the DR05, which is a great little machine. What I specifically love about this recorder is the fact that its microphones have an omni characteristic. This means it records all the sound around the device. This is really different from recording with most other devices, including the DR40, which sports two microphones with a kidney characteristic. Let me explain this quickly. The kidney shaped characteristic makes that the microphone will mostly record the sound that is in front of the microphone and it will attenuate the sound from behind. For the longest time I thought this would be the best way to record concerts since you want to record only the sound coming from the stage and not from the audience. Since I put these devices on stage, sometimes pretty close to the performers whenever the stage space is limited, I have found out that you get a much better result with Omni microphones than with cardioids. The Omni microphones capture much more the ambient space and by the blending of the acoustical sounds of the different instruments and voices, the blend will be much more naturally than with cardioids, which will pick up a more directional sound, hence the name unidirectional microphone or microphone with a cardioid pattern versus omnidirectional microphone. The DR40 on the other hand, sports two unidirectional microphones with two additional inputs for two more mics. This makes this device very useful for recording the sound from a more direct viewpoint. There are two different settings on this machine. The default XY microphone placing, which is perfect for recording a closer distance, and the AB setting, which will capture the sounds from a wider angle. Next to these built-in microphones, you have the possibility to connect two extra professional microphones to the DR40. This makes it really easy to use these inputs for two additional support microphones in case the overall balance needs to be tweaked in post-production. This nifty machine lets you even do this with the built-in mixer, but I prefer to do this in my studio or on my iPad, where I have more tools at my disposal to tweak, edit and master. But in a pinch, you can all do this with the onboard software and even dial in some reverb when all is said and done. In a way, I like both machines so much that I like to use them in congruence with one another. But there is a catch. It's not really possible to use the signals from both machines simultaneously and mix them in post-production together. This is not possible because of the fact that both machines have their individual built-in clock speed. And this is not a clock in the traditional sense, but the speed to which each machine matches its time code. Because every machine has its own built-in time code, the result is that when matched, the different tracks from each apparatus will slowly go out of sync. They go their own way, creating all kinds of audible phasing issues. In short, it distorts the sound. So, I only use either the sound from the DR05, if the balance was perfect from that device, or otherwise, I use the sound from the DR40, with its additional support mics. In future videos, I plan to give more examples of different recording setups, for recording concerts as well as how to record in a studio environment. For this, I do stick with the idea of recording acoustical instruments, since this is what I do and where I have my expertise. If you are looking to record close mics for multi-tracking purpose, 
There is plenty of information available on other YouTube channels, as well as on blogs, specialized web websites and forums. Well, that's all for now. Feel free to check out my other videos on recording. More are planned for the near future. See you next time.